Over the years, NASA has sent five robotic vehicles, called rovers, to Mars. The names of the five rovers are Sojourner, Spirit and Opportunity, Curiosity, and Perseverance. Mars is a fascinating planet. It is cold, icy, and covered in reddish dust and dirt. But this time, the Perseverance rover has discovered something impressive, and that may change some of Elon Musk's plans regarding his goal of colonizing the Red Giant. Before we start, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and activate the notification bell. Scientists were surprised when NASA's Perseverance Mars rover began examining rocks on the floor of Jezero Crater in the spring of 2021. Because the crater contained a lake billions of years ago, they expected to find sedimentary rocks, which they would have formed when sand and mud settled in a once watery environment. Instead, they found that the soil was made of two types of igneous rocks, one that formed deep underground from magma, and the other from volcanic activity on the surface. The findings are described in four new articles published on August 25. One gives an overview of Perseverance's exploration of the crater surface before the rover reached the ancient Jezero River Delta in April 2022. A second study, in the same journal, details distinctive rocks that appear to have formed from a thick body of magma. The other two papers, published in Science Advances, expose the ways in which Perseverance's rock vaporizing laser and ground penetrating radar established that the crater floor is covered by igneous rocks. Ancient Rocks Igneous rocks are excellent timekeepers. The crystals they contain record data about the precise moment they formed. A great value of the igneous rocks we collect is that they will tell us when the lake was present at Jezero. We know it was there more recently than when the igneous rocks on the crater floor were formed, said a Perseverance Project scientist. This will address some important questions. When was the climate on Mars conducive to the appearance of lakes and rivers on the planet's surface, and when did it change to the very cold and dry conditions we see today? Perseverance took this close-up of a rocky target nicknamed Fuchs using its new ats and camera on July 11, 2021, the Martian Day, or Sol, of the 139th mission. However, because of how it forms, igneous rock isn't the best for preserving potential signs of the ancient microscopic life that Perseverance seeks. In contrast, determining the age of sedimentary rock can be challenging, particularly when it contains rock fragments that formed at different times before the rock sediment was deposited. But sedimentary rock often forms in watery environments suitable for life and is more conducive to preserving ancient signs of life. That's why the sediment-rich river delta that Perseverance has been exploring since April 2022 has been so eye-catching to scientists. The rover has begun drilling and collecting core samples of sedimentary rocks there so the Mars Sample Return Project can bring them back to Earth for study using powerful laboratory equipment too big to take to Mars. Mysterious Rocks Formed by Magma The second article published in Science solves a mystery about Mars. Years ago, Mars orbiters detected a rock formation filled with a mineral olivine, covering an area of approximately 70,000 square kilometers. This formation extends from the inner rim of Jezero Crater into the surrounding region. Scientists have offered several theories as to why olivine is so abundant over such a large surface area, including meteorite impacts, volcanic eruptions, and sedimentary processes. Another theory is that olivine formed deep underground from the slow cooling of magma, molten rock, before being exposed over time by erosion. NASA and its co-authors have determined that the latter explanation is the most likely. Perseverance scraped a rock to reveal its composition. In studying the exposed area, scientists focused on the large grain size of olivine, along with the chemistry and texture of the rock. Using Perseverance's PIXL instrument, they determined that the olivine grains are 1 to 3 millimeters in size, much larger than would be expected for olivine that formed in lava and cooled rapidly on the planet's surface. NASA representatives said that this large crystal size and its uniform composition in a specific rock texture requires a very slow cooling environment. Therefore, it is most likely that this Jezero magma was not erupted in the surface. 
The instruments used for this discovery are Perseverance's SuperCam laser and a ground-penetrating radar called RIMFAX. The SuperCam is equipped with a rock vaporizing laser that can shoot a target as small as the tip of a pencil from up to 7 meters away. Studies the resulting vapor using a visible light spectrometer to determine the chemical composition of a rock. SuperCam analyzed 1,450 points during Perseverance's first 10 months on Mars, helping scientists reach their conclusion about the igneous rocks on the crater floor. In addition, SuperCam using near-infrared light, which is the first instrument on Mars with such a capability, found that the water altered minerals in the rocks on the crater floor. However, the alterations were not widespread throughout the crater floor based on the combination of laser and infrared observations. RIMFAX marks another first. Mars orbiters carry ground-penetrating radars, but no spacecraft on the surface of Mars did before Perseverance. Being on the surface, RIMFAX can provide unparalleled detail and surveyed the crater floor as deep as 15 meters. The key goal for Perseverance's Mars mission is astrobiology, including searching for signs of ancient microbial life, the rover will characterize the planet's geology and past climate, pave the way for human exploration of the Red Planet, and be the first mission to collect and store Martian rocks and regolith. So far today's video, make sure to subscribe and activate the bell for more videos. Until next time.